Bengala Roo based new space research and technologies is developing swarm drones for jungle environment. Indian Army snipers validated marksmanship endurance navigational and survival skills in a week long exercise under simulated operational conditions. The Ministry of Defence has approached the United Kingdom for the transfer of nine Jaguar strike aircraft that are now no longer in service, along with a cache of spares, to make up for attrition in the Indian Air Force. The DRDO is experiencing a surge in interest for its Pinnaka multi barrel rocket launcher system from European countries. Technotrove Systems has won the contract for supply of advanced military training simulators from Indian Air Force and Indian Army, that uses latest simulation technology. Germany has said that it will showcase its Sa 400M military transport aircraft to the Indian Air Force at the upcoming Tarang Shakti Multinational Air Exercise in August, which is a strong contender in the 80 medium transport aircraft tender. Armored Vehicles Negum Limited has successfully completed and dispatched an order of 800 Stallion Mark IV military vehicles to the Indian Army, within the stipulated delivery time frame as per the contract. The recent flurry of visiting sessions and meetings between civilian and military leaders from Saudi Arabia United Arab Emirates and South Korea, has intensified speculation about a potential partnership for the KF-21 4.5 generation fighter jet program. The DRDO chief has said, that the Aeronautical Development Agency has achieved a significant milestone in the development of AMCA program, as the crucial process of stealth shaping for the AMCA has been finalized. He also explained, that roughly 70% of a fighter jet's stealth capability stems from its shaping, with the remaining 30% contributed by specialized materials. He also reassured that significant progress has been made in special materials development and testing, infrared reduction materials to manage heat emissions, including radar cross-section measurements for the finalized AMCA shape have been successfully completed. He also added, that the DRDO is even exploring the potential of radar-absorbing structures for a holistic approach. He expressed confidence that the AMCA will achieve the targeted low radar cross-section performance expected of a fifth-generation fighter jet. Software updates for aircraft can take months of development and testing in traditional methods, but the Tejas Mark II program has prioritized an adaptable software, that will serve as a critical factor for its longevity and combat effectiveness. It will allow the Air Force to update software functionalities within a time frame of weeks, ensuring the aircraft stays ahead of the curve in a rapidly evolving technological landscape for modern warfare scenarios. The upcoming Tarang Shakti multinational air exercise will see the participation of the US Air Force's latest F-15EX Eagle II taking center stage, and this deployment holds particular significance for India, as Boeing has offered the F-15EX under the 114 MRFA tender, and the exercise will provide a valuable opportunity for the Air Force to witness the Strike Eagle's capabilities of air-to-air -air combat and long-range precision strikes. Officials have said, that apart from new electronic warfare suite and an advanced radar, the F-15EX also supports conformal fuel tanks and a strengthened airframe, that allows for a 28% larger payload capacity compared to the F-15E variant. Boeing has said, that the F-15EX shares 70% of its parts with existing F-15 variants, and global availability of the spares will remain in production at least till 2070. Today's top 3 comments.